to my channel. So today we are doing a dewy spring all cream product get ready with me. I grabbed any and all products from my collection that said dewy, healthy skin, illuminating. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer, one of my favorites. And then I also grabbed the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion 901 in Fair Glow. While I normally like to mix my primers and mix products in general for that matter, I'm gonna go ahead and do them step by step here just because I feel like that will get more hydration and then we can really focus on hydrating with the ColourPop and then illuminating with the L'Oreal. I did already cleanse my skin and moisturized, but like hours and hours ago, so just doing this as another hydration step but then also definitely it helps to have the makeup adhere to the skin and just lay on the skin nicer as well yeah that made my skin feel much better so now we're going to go in with the l'oreal lumi glotion and this will add a little bit of extra hydration as well because i'm sure it has like glycerin yeah glycerin in it so it's going to add a little bit of hydration but mainly we want this one for illuminating the skin and this one has more of a pinky tint to it i don't know if i've used these two together before but they feel really really nice and i'm really going in with that kind of getting that tin man base glass skin because the skin is really the focus of this look. We're not really doing much on the eyes, or at least for me, the skin is the focus of my looks when I'm doing a more dewy look. I think that primer for looks like this, especially like dewy healthy skin, primer is very essential and it just adds such a nice boost and glow under the skin. As I said, I went a little heavier with the tinted primer, the glowier one. And for complexion, we are going to go in with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And this guy has SPF 30. Mine is in Vanilla 02. This is one of my favorite tinted moisturizers. I haven't reached for it in a while, so I just decided to go for this one. When I do glowier looks, even if I have acne and stuff that needs covering, I still like to go in with something lighter coverage for the base. Um, I just find it looks nicer with the cream products, and it's also allows for the primer and stuff to shine through a little more when you're not doing full coverage. This one is a little bit dark for me, but I will make it work with concealer and stuff. Very light coverage, but it just kind of evens out the overall skin tone and covers up any redness for sure, but then you still get the skin peeking through underneath and the glow from the primer as well. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I am going in with my Dampened Real Techniques sponge. This has been the sponge that I've been using for the last few months. I've just been repurchasing this one. I really like it. Um, so I think I just forgot to mention that because it's like all I use. I also really do like the e.l.f. One. This here is how the skin looks with just the Complexion Rescue. You can still definitely see not so much redness, but more just my breakouts coming through a little bit. It really adds a nice healthy glow, um, just a little bit of coverage and evening out of the skin tone. So now I'm going to go in with concealer. I did grab two. Um, both drugstore. I grabbed the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I love, love, love this one, especially for the under eyes. And then I grabbed the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer from Koki. I've never tried this one yet. It was sent to me in PR from Koki, but it looks to be a little bit of a thicker consistency than the NYX one. So I think I'm going to try this guy, the Koki one, for spot concealing. This is in Fair. I'm going to try not to go too crazy with this. I mean, I'm normally a full coverage girl, so I do find it a little hard to embrace my acne and my breakouts and all those spots on my face. We definitely need, need to conceal this one. That's like a big one right now. Now go ahead and put this one under the eyes. Typically, I do my concealer in two steps, and I like to do my under eye concealer last so that I can set it immediately bake it in 
so that it doesn't crease because I do struggle a lot with under eye creasing. But because we aren't setting anything today, I'm going to leave it and see what happens. I think it looks pretty good. I could definitely do for some more coverage, but that's not what this looks about. So I'm going to leave it as is. Um, I really like how the Koki concealer covered and blended, so I'll definitely keep playing around with that in the future. I think it looks really nice, and I already know I love the NYX Born to Glow under the eyes. It looks super pretty. So now we are ready to contour, bronze up the skin, which I desperately, desperately need at the moment. So we are going to use the ever so popular Nude Sticks um, all over face color, and this guy is in the shade Bondi Bay. I do think I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand and stipple it onto the face. Um, it's a little too pigmented to go directly in for me personally, but it's a beautiful bronze shade. It does come with a brush, but I find that the brush is a little bit too dense and it removes any product underneath it. So we want to keep the coverage in the cheekbone area as much as we can if possible. Um, so I'm just going to go in with this with my Sephora Pro Stippling 44 and I'm going to bronze the sides of my cheekbones, forehead really all over to get a nice overall bronze look. I know a lot of people like using creams for contour, but I just don't contour. I never do. I don't like it on me. Um, but I love this formula just for all over bronzing. So this is how the bronzer looks all over the skin. It blends absolutely beautifully. It's so pretty. It's such a nice shade and it just sits really nicely on the skin. The only thing I will say is with that product, I find it hard to be super precise. It's nice for like an all over bronze, but I do want to make it a little more um, like sculpted in this area and defined. So for that, I'm going to just go back in with my concealer. I'm going to use the Koki one. And because I would normally do this with powder, but we're not using powder product today. So I'm just going to go right under that area there and sharpen it. And that will add some coverage back as well. I know that looks kind of crazy, but it's essentially just defining that area. A lot of people do it with powder, but because we aren't using powder, um, we're just doing it with cream product. So just blending that in. I really, really like that Koki concealer. The coverage and the consistency of it are really, really nice. Now it's time for a highlighter. So I grabbed this highlighter from Nip and Fab. Pretty sure you can only get this in the UK. I purchased it when I was living on exchange, living on exchange, living in England on exchange. Um, so I've had it for a little while, but this is the Nip and Fab Liquid Gold Highlight and it's an 01 white gold. And this is essentially the most blinding, strobing, like metallic highlight that I have. Um, so some people like to use this as a primer. Some people like to mix it into their foundation. You can do pretty much whatever with it, but today I'm using it pretty much strictly as a liquid highlighter. And you can see that is what it looks like just on the finger. It is so intense and blinding. That is what it looks like there, just so that I don't go in with too much at once. Typically, I'm just not a liquid highlight person, mainly because I like to set with powder and you can't really do that with a lot of liquid product. But I think this is so, so pretty for spring and summer. It just gives like a more natural lit from within look, even though this is so metallic, it is not natural by any means, but it is just a little more skin-like than using a powder highlight. So that's why I like it. I think it's so, so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with blush. I might go back and touch that up a little bit, we will see. But for blush, I'm going to use my favorite. This is the Ink Credible from Sephora blush in my first love. I have all three of these that they offer, but this is my favorite cool toned pink. And same thing, just applying it with my finger straight to the back of my hand. 
so that I can get a little more working room and it doesn't have to be straight pigment right on my face right away. But you guys know I love blush, so I'm gonna go a little bit ham with this, I would assume. <laughs> I love blush and this shade is just so, so gorgeous. So I did grab a bunch of brow products. We are going to go for very fluffy model off-duty soap brow type look. I think this looks amazing with a dewier spring healthy skin. So I grabbed four brow products, which is excessive. Yes, but they all have a purpose. So I grabbed the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in 3.5. This is dark for me. I got this as a 100 point perk, so I'm trying to use it up. A little bit dark for me, but I'm going to use that to do a tiny, tiny bit of definition. We are hardly going to go in with this. Then I grabbed three gels. So I grabbed my all-time favorite clear brow gel for setting hairs in place. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, so we will be using that as the final step. And then to fill in the brows and give that fluffy look, I have two of the Essence Make Me A Brows. I have 01 Blondie Brows and then 03 Soft Brownie Brows. So I like to use the blonde shade on the inner portion of my brows and then the darker shade for the curve, the arch, and then the tail. So a little excessive, but this is what I like to do to achieve this kind of look. My brows are now on. This is my good brow, evidently. This is the brow that doesn't care what I do or say, so we're gonna ignore her today, but brows are on. So I'm going to go in with this Koki Crystal Fusion liquid eyeshadow. This is the prettiest, prettiest pink. I figured it would be very pretty and monochromatic with the cheeks and the lips that I'm going to go in with. So this is in the shade Super Natural. I am going to apply it straight to my eye rather than the back of my hand like I did the other products, but I'm going to apply it to the center. And then from there, I'm just going to blend it out smudgy style with my finger. I'm gonna build it up a little bit so we can tell that it's pink, hopefully. Not showing up so great on camera, but that's okay. We are going to move into mascara. As I mentioned, I want a clumpier, more editorial lash. So we are going to use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Lash Primer as our base to really thicken the lashes. And then I'm going to be going in with my new favorite, favorite mascara. This is the Anastasia Lash Brag. I received this in gratis from work before everything went to heck in the world. Um, so yeah, I'm going to layer these up nice and thick, get that clumpy editorial lash. My mascara is now on. Do you guys see what I mean with that mascara? It is my favorite mascara that I've tried in a while. There's been some good ones coming out recently, but this beats anything that I've tried. It's a very similar wand to like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but it's a wet formula and it just hugs my lashes like nothing else. It makes them look incredible. So that is the eyes done and I did go in with a little bit more of the pink shadow because I wanted the pink to be a little more prominent. Now we are going to head in with lips and then I think I'm going to bronze up the skin a little bit more. This is one of my favorite cool toned bright Barbie pinks. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade 205 Elusive. One of my favorites in the entire world. I used to use this all the time. That is why it's completely flattened. But I'm going to go ahead and use this as my base lipstick product. It is in matte, but it's a very thick cream formula, so it's a little bit moisturizing as well. And now I'm going to go in with this NYX gloss. Goes super nicely with the eyeshadow. Pretty much the same shade except in gloss form, and this is the NYX Glam Aqualux Gloss in High Society. This one is a very thin, sparkly consistency. I love thinner glosses. This is one of my favorites. Now, as I said, I just want to go back into this bronzer a little bit, freshen up my bronze because I feel like my face has eaten some of it away already. And I'm using a different brush this time. I'm using my Pro Sephora 55, which is my go-to for powders, but it actually works really well with this 
cream product as well. All right, you guys, this is my finished look using all cream and liquid products. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like if you did enjoy it. It helps me out, lets me know what you guys like to see. Please do subscribe if you aren't already. That really does help me out as well. That is everything that I have for you guys today. As always, I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.